This episode was sponsored by Western Digital. What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with another episode and sitting in my second desk setup area. I know that I'm usually in my studio. I've shown you guys my main desk setup that has my iMac Pro. This is the laptop setup that you guys have been asking for. It lives, of course, in my living room area. It's a place that I just need to have a different area to sit. It's just refreshing. I can't be stuck in my studio the entire time. And it's a place where I currently have my laptops and where I test all of them out. So I know a lot of you use laptops as a primary device and they're great for being on the go, obviously the portability, but when you dock them into a station, you still want to utilize a screen, you still want to have a couple accessories, and I know that you guys were asking what I kind of do in my setup and how it kind of works. I keep it minimal, I keep it simple, but super, super functional. I'm usually on a Mac ecosystem, but I have docked, say, my Surface Pro here. Works completely fine as well, so it's very versatile. So for options, the 2018 MacBook Pros. My personal choice was the i7. I did max out the RAM at 32 gigs, and even though Apple did put push out some of the updates for the i9, it kind of solves some of those throttling issues. I still went for the mid-tier spec and I got a 512 SSD. Do not spend more on storage, more on that in a second. I do still challenge a lot of you though to test out the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It now finally has a quad core CPU, so most things that you throw at it, whether it's for productivity like emails, browsing the net, doing your normal day-to-day -day stuff, you can still crunch 4K edits on this. It was a bit laggy in the timeline, but still completely usable. It's when you start getting into 8K, some red footage. That's where I noticed this guy bogged down. It also wasn't as quick at rendering as say the 15 inch. Obviously this guy has the dedicated GPU, but still a very capable device. And of course, you gotta love the form factor and the portability. I also went for the 512 SSD, which leads us to this is the My Cloud Home Duo from Western Digital, and this is my storage solution and kind of helps me with managing all of my content. And as you guys know, as a creator, I produce a ton of content, whether I'm shooting in 4K, whether I'm recording video game footage, all of it is centralized on this hub. It is a 16 terabyte option and definitely helps me utilize the, I guess, low space that I've got over on my MacBooks. This is the actual unit itself, and I've currently got it unplugged, but it usually lives over where my router is located. Once this guy is hooked up, although it is a 16 terabyte option, it does have mirror mode, so it does store everything twice, so you have eight terabytes of usable storage. And the setup process out of the box is, I think, what is the simplest option. You simply download a corresponding app, you log in, and from there, you can download the application on this MacBook, this MacBook, my iMac Pros, essentially every device that you have. And once you've logged in, you can access your footage from essentially anywhere. So super useful when I'm on the go. If I record video footage here in the studio, I need to access it, say later on in the week when I'm in New York. To my future potential video editor out there, you can access all of the footage that I shoot and you can help me out. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, and it's a one-time fee and I don't need to worry about reoccurring costs like cloud storage options. I've been super happy with this upgrade and I'm still saving more money in comparison to of buying more space on either of these MacBooks. The monitor right here behind which you can plug any of these laptops into is an LG 4K panel. I'll leave the exact model code here, but we're getting to a time where USB-C is becoming more of a thing. I definitely urge you, if you pick up a new MacBook or a USB-C enabled device, get a USB-C monitor. It is a game changer. Can now power, get video signal, and of course sound through one cable, and it makes your life so much simpler, and it makes your desk setup so much more clean and so much easier to manage. Especially if you're OCD like me and wanna keep your cable management game on point. I went for the compromise because I've had ultra wides in the past, but those were lower resolution. Having a 4K panel is clutch, especially if you're doing any sort of photo or video editing. You do notice the difference, trust me. 
Accessories wise, as this is a minimal desk setup, we have two of them. The first of course is the Logitech MX Master, the best mouse that you can grab. You can pair multiple devices on the back and behind everything we have a blue lounge cable management box. As it's simple, there's only one power cord which of course powers the monitor and that in turn powers and charges the laptops. And obviously it's orange, what more could you expect from my setup? I lied, there is a third accessory on this third laptop here. This is actually the 12 South book arc and it's perfect for docking your laptop. You can have this in a closed mode. If you do say have an external keyboard that you wanna use, it just keeps things once again very minimal. It matches the space gray finish to the MacBooks. And it's not that expensive. Everything of course linked down below. I actually excluded any speakers because you do get sound output from the monitor. It isn't the greatest, but once again, keeping things very, very minimal. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I hope to catch you in one of my next ones or in one of my vlogs. Peace.